Will Valentina Shoshenko reclaim her flyweight title or will Alexa Grasso get it done again? See who fighters are picking in the latest edition of MMA Pro's Pick. You know, that's an interesting matchup because Valentina was such a dominant champion for so, so long. Um, and Alexa Grasso is an incredible athlete as well, and she has um, the ability to expose the holes, you know? So both of them have the ability to expose the holes of the, of the other person and capitalize on them. So um, it really... It really will be an interesting one because, you know, I feel like they're both also the fighters that don't give a lot of mistakes. They don't make a lot of mistakes. They don't give a lot of holes. So it'll be really interesting to see how that fight goes. And, and it's not something that, you know, you can predict because I, I truly believe this is one of those fights that could go either way. It's an interesting fight. Again, all these fights, the UFC are very good at picking fights. That's why it's one of the best grown sports in the world. Um, I've always liked Shevchenko. I've always liked her style. So I'm going to have to lean into that. I'm going to have to see, like, I like Grosso as well, but it's, it's too hard to pick. So I'm going to go strikes again, Shevchenko. You know, I think that, I think that Valentina is going to go in there and she's not going to make any mistakes this time. <laughs> I, I think that Grosso, you know, I don't know. I, I, I like Grasso, and I think that she's a very talented fighter, and she's really good, and her hands are really good. But I think that, you know, Valentina, she just made a couple of mistakes, a few mild errors. I think that she was winning the fight, to the, you know, from from the beginning. I mean, she was doing everything right. I think, you know, she just slipped up with that spinning back fist, it caught her, and you know, she got caught in a bad position, and you know, her back was taken, and Grasso was able to capitalize. I just feel like. Valentina's not gonna make the same mistakes. You know, I think that it's gonna be Valentina. I don't know. That's, it's just gonna depend on what, what uh, Valentina shows up. Like, it's almost like the Amanda Nunes thing. Like she's been, Valentina's been doing it for so long and winning. Like, yeah, she finally lost, but like at, at one point it's like, I don't know if she was tired of it or didn't really care. So if she, if she put in the work and she really, because now she lost, like she'll probably, she should come back and win. But Alexa, like she surprised me a lot in that fight. I um, I did not think it was going to go like that. So I'm going to lean Valentina. I think that Valentina might be able to get their belt back, you know. Um, we'll see. But I know that Grasso is probably going to make adjustments too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think that maybe she saw that gap in terms of the back and maybe she'll still expose her back, but in a different way. You know yeah. what I mean? Maybe she's going to work on her wrestling and try to get to her back on her own. Because of the fight, Alexa didn't even try to push the wrestling. Mm -hmm. If anything, she was on the defensive end of that. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, Valentina was the one being offensive in the wrestling department. And I think that Grasso should have seen that prior maybe she'll see it now like oh you know i can grapple with this girl you know what i mean because she got her neck last time and that's what i saw you know what i mean when i watched valentina that i could get her neck or i could get her in a guillotine or i could get her in any type of submission so um but yeah i think that you know we'll see a good fight i don't know i don't have i'm not picking any of them i just know that it's gonna be a great fight and I can't wait for it. Ah, I think Shashenko. I think that, you know, like people, I mean, whatever, like hopefully she doesn't do any more spinning crap. Uh, that was the fight, wasn't it? Where she like went to go spin and she caught her back? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, you know, I think maybe that was a one timer thing. I mean, it's there. That's definitely an option to go to, but it was like, it was kind of like shocking that she got at that like that. So I think, I think she comes back and wins. I think Shevchenko gets it back by decision. I think Shevchenko takes it. I think Shevchenko takes it. I think I think Grasso has done huge in terms of her her training and her footage and understanding of Shevchenko to be able to get that possibility of a rear naked choke um, that last fight. I don't see Valentina making the same mistake or letting her get that close. Uh, so I think Valentina is going to take it. Dude, I'm so I'm such a big Shevchenko fan, dude. I just think that she's just so good. You know, I, I definitely don't think it was like a fluke or anything that uh, uh, Alexa Grasso won uh, the first time. Um, and you even seen, it, it was spectacular to see her that she was drilling that exact same sequence off of the failed spinning back kick and in, in, right into the back kick into the to the rear naked choke. Um, you seen in the back that she was drilling that, you know, before the fight. So clearly they did their due diligence in, in studying the film and seeing that they thought that that would be an opening, you know, where that uh, that might potentially play out in the fight. So, um, 
you know, who knows? Maybe they uh, maybe they get planned and, and have another spectacular finish waiting. But I I I think that Sevchenko is as good as she is for a reason, and that sh this this loss that she just had probably lit. I would imagine lit a fire in her that that is only going to be a good thing, you know. And um, I, I think Sevchenko is going to get this one done. Yeah, I don't know. Alexa Grasso looked really good in that last one, and I don't really, uh, you know, Shevchenko's done been. <laughs> It's interesting because Shevchenko's looks so dominant in every other fight, and like the first time she shows any weakness. But I think Grasso, you know, saw enough in there that she can even do better this fight and probably get it done. And just like being a little bit longer and a little more heavy with the hands and being able to touch Shevchenko where she hasn't got touched like that before, I think she takes it again. It's hard, it's hard question. Uh, Valentina is Valentina, eh? Do you know? But I think Alexa Grasso is different. This, this girl is special, girl. This girl, uh, I think, and, and still. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a tough one to say. You know, Alexa's a, she's Mexican, obviously. So a lot of Mexicans, if you're watching this, if I go against her, oh, he's not Mexican. I'm like, well, first of all, I'm fucking American, but I'm Mexican American. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I think I'm leaning, like, Alexa's a good friend of mine, too, but, like, I'm like I'm very honest. Like, I'm leaning towards Valentina in the fight. I believe Alexa's the underdog. Uh, but you can't count Alexa out. Like, she's a very tough girl. I think she hits very hard. I've sparred with her before. Like, the girl hits hard. And, like, her jiu is like, improving. So, uh, I'm, I, the... The friend side of me will say Alexa, but then the other side of me to say I don't know Alexa, I'm, I'm going with Valentina. So if okay. we're, if that's what I say. Um, I'm gonna go with Grosso again. I think, uh, you know, she obviously finished her and the confidence coming off of that. I think it's gonna continue and uh, she's probably gonna get a, another finish, I'm thinking. I think Shevchenko. I'm gonna go with Shevchenko. I'm gonna go with Shevchenko. I think she's probably, I think she's the better fighter and, and uh, Grasso just uh, had, you know, a good moment. Valentina. Oh my goodness. I couldn't imagine Alexa Grasso beating Valentina the first time. So to know that she's going out there, I know that um, Alexa Grasso has also had Lupita Godinez go down there for Lupita's entire camp, who's also fighting on the card. So I know that Alexa's had like the best training partners. Um, they do go really hard in that gym. I kind of see her winning again. You know, I feel like she's got that like champion confidence going into this fight, already having a win against Valentina. It's like always the hardest thing to go against Valentina, but I want to see Alexa win, and I think she's going to. 